you ready to set up the Starlink? Yeah. This is how this is how we store our Starlink while we're traveling. It just sits here in the front seat with the cord down there in the base. That's it. Piece of cake. All right. We're gonna show y'all how long it takes. It's, uh, 28 minutes after. It's the bottom stand. We do everything else first. Get the rigs all set up and all that kind of stuff. And then we set up our Starlink. And you want to point it to the north. For, for our location. Right. Since we've been traveling out here in the west, most of the time it's been... Um, the north has been uh, lining up to the satellites up, up north to the north we use both of these rigs and we know how much cord it takes so we already have it divided so that he just hooks one end of it onto the bumper of the little rig and the other is hooked to the dishy itself yeah, and you want to make sure you keep these out of the dirt right so you want to make sure you do that. Let me see. Let me just... I thought I had it. It's all done. You got your one end. These ends only fit one way. Let me see. So it just slides in there. Okay. Put it on the base. north so where's the other end I got it man okay good you don't want that on the ground no not when you're, you don't not keep when all you're your little plugs not when you're pulling the cable leave yourself some slack in case you gotta move it a little bit yeah so. okay I'll go inside and um Put the router back up. We store the router on the bed when we're traveling. So, and I don't even unplug it. And I set it here so it's between us and the other rig. And let me get the window open for him. And he's going to pass the cord in. I'm going to plug it into the router. At first, when you get your Starlink, you have to... Um, have the internet so you can download the programs and all that good stuff you want to do that where you have internet yeah where you have internet exactly got enough slack. and this goes right in here That's just cool. like so okay and it can only go one way also and that's it Okay, we got plenty of slack. All right. I'm going to pull it up on my phone, the Starlink, to see if we're online. It And, oh, I forgot to say, there is a light. See? Do you see the light there? That's on. You have power. Let's turn on our Starlink on the phone. And at this point... Because we've been traveling all over the United States with the Starlink. From Georgia all the way to Montana. And we've used it along the way. Never had an issue. Rain, snow, wind, everything. So it was in the store position. Alright. But it says we're offline and it's searching already. 
let's see. It's searching. And it's plugged in out there. And what he does for this right here, we have some clear tape. And we just put clear tape on the window. Yep, yeah. oh, there it goes. It's starting to set up. Look at that. It's searching for a satellite now. It usually takes about between three and five minutes to set it up. It is no big deal, folks. No big deal at all. There it is. It's online. Online, and the dish itself is going to tilt here in just a second. Well, that varies. Sometimes, sometimes it's a minute or two. Sometimes it's three or four minutes. But it does not take very long at all. Let's see if we have TV yet. <laughs> it says we're online. How about that? There we go. She's online. Very good. No signal received offline. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. The setup time was at five minutes. Yeah. To set it up, it only takes, it really only takes less than five minutes. All right, honey, what's going on? It says we're online, but it's not tilting at all. Oh, she's looking for her satellite. There she goes. Woohoo! All right. How long did that take, honey? Uh, let's see, 28. 8. Between 8 and 10 minutes. Between 8 and 10. Because I've got um, this uh, 30, 35, 37 minutes till the hour. So it was 20, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 8 to 10 minutes. It's, yeah. and, you know, everybody says the cord's too long and da-da-da-da-da and, you know, it's too much to deal with and whatnot. Not for us. And we have great internet. <laughs> all, almost I'm always. I'm watching YouTube right now. Yeah. And that, there? That happens, that happens every time. And, yeah. and TV. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, me. and we have used it everywhere from and this Florida is about how long it here. takes it takes about 10 minutes when even in a new area about the same time roughly even 10, in a forest yeah we want to clear forest. the trees exactly. long as you can beam up and clear the trees and we've been in a forest where there's plenty of trees right we found a clearing and we already have our passwords and everything in our TVs, so we don't have to do that when you initially get your Starlink you'll have to put you have to have it, internet yeah you have to have set, internet set it all up Exactly. But it's pretty straightforward. Uh, don't overthink it. It's exactly. It's very simple. It's three pieces. You got your router. Well, four pieces counting the router cord. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, you get your router, your cable, and your uh, dish. Right. And it's the simplest thing we've ever come across. I mean, we don't have to fight with a box. Do I have signal? Walk around the rig. We just yeah. set it up. Where can I put it in the window and all that kind of stuff. We went through that with three different uh companies yes you know i'm not gonna name who they are because <laughs> y'all know who they are y'all know who they are y'all have the same problems even in town you may not have signal exactly but anyway they can have all the towers they want i think starlink's got a winning formula here now granted being said it was designed for y'all remember this for rural areas so it's not has doesn't have enough satellites up yet for the bigger cities and bigger population areas. That's why those people are complaining they have problems. It doesn't have the satellite, the infrastructure built yet to absorb thousands of people coming online. Exactly. So you have to understand it was designed and the purpose of it was for, for rural areas. But you're going to be able to get it in some cities, but probably not every city. Exactly. So you're better off staying with what you have on your phone or your box or whatever. In those, if you live in population centers where there's plenty of antennas running around. But to be out in rural areas where we camp and we go to small towns, 
across the country. There you go. It's perfect. Look at that picture. That oh. is fantastic. Fantastic. Yep. I mean, even with the glare on the from the sun. We're we, happy with it. We are. We're extremely happy with it. And anybody that does, you do what we're doing, or want to prepare you or some kind of prep or something, I think the, the antenna systems will go down before start the uh, satellites. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> I think, I think well, there's going to be prob problems with that. And the other thing is, people are complaining about the cost. Yeah. If you buy a phone or one of those boxes, you're it's paying not, for that. Well, we pay, uh, and we, it doesn't work half well, the time. Well, we pay 135 for our AT&T with the supposedly unlimited internet. Right. At 40 gig, but they throttle us and make it where we can barely use it, if we can use it at all. Right. So, in, in that light of things, uh, they sell you a bunch of stuff, but you don't get a bunch of stuff. Well, Starlink... I'm getting what I'm paying for, the way I feel about it. That's it. Uh, at 135 a month, we loot, we, we pop it down, we put it away, we stow it, off we go, five minutes, we're, we're done. And, and, the Starlink itself, the equipment, costs less than a cell phone. My cell phone was what, $1,200? $1,200. Starlink is $700. Right. And it depends on which state you get it in. If, if you, you pay, pay taxes, tax right. So we got ours in Montana. And no sales tax in Montana. Right. <laughs> and we are loving it. I mean, we get to go to places like this, folks. Yeah. You know, we There's boondock no, a lot. No, there is internet here. There is a tower no. way over there. But, but I tell you what, if I unhook, because I'm I have Wi-Fi calling on my cell phone. And no one flies in here. And with the Wi-Fi calling, I can call out. But if I turn that off, and we don't have Starlink, I can't call out. With the AT and T. Exactly. And the tower's right there. Yeah. But I think here they get two bars of Verizon. But those towers are aimed down the interstate, and we just happen to be by the interstate. Right. We're about a mile and a half in or so yeah. from the interstate, and we can still pick it up. But that's why a lot of people camp up front at the further closer yes. campgrounds to the highway so they can pick up internet. Where if we have Starlink, we can keep going further out. There's no boundary because we could go camp on the other side of the lake where there's no internet and have Starlink and have cell phone service and everything. You can't beat it. Not for what we do. And the last place we were camped was in Loa, Utah. And when we were there last year and we did not have our Starlink, we had to go into town to upload a video and to talk on the phone. Yeah, well, it was a mile away to where we could get signal. <laughs> Just it, a teeny, teeny bit. bit. But that was two years ago. Oh, two years ago. Because Deb and Jim were with us. That's right. The Gadberries. That also have Starlink. This year we spent with our other friends, Kim and Daryl yeah. and Deb. Right. And uh, we had a wonderful time there. We stayed the full 14 days and it was great. And Kim and Daryl have Starlink also. Yep. So we all have plenty of internet. That's it. It was great. So for all the naysayers, we are loving our Starlink. Yeah, a lot of us. Uh, it's, it's great. I remember I got internet. No problems. It's great. And it's been like this ever since we left Florida. Everywhere yeah. we've stopped. The only hiccup was we had to get the... We lit it off one time and we didn't have nothing. Then we had to, she had to get online and call them and set us up for the uh, roaming. Is that what it's called? No, portability. portability. That's when portability kicked it in. It kicked in. We didn't know about that. As so soon as I did that portability, we though... We had internet an hour later. Yes. It came back up. They programmed us in. and uh, Maybe their customer service uh, is not the best yet. I think they're still going to build this out, but so far the customer service we had was pretty good. So and and I, I mean I emailed them and they emailed me back and it and it tells you that yeah. you will get an email within 24 hours. So be patient, folks. Be patient. Any, anything else, Mr. Childers? See, he's so in. Yeah, I'm just catching up. <laughs> Checking my orders. No. My email or hello, Carlos, <laughs> Linda, and the kids. And, the, and they got Starlink too. Yep, just got it. And they love it. They yep. got like uh, how many people they got on there? Is nine? 
Yeah. And they they have 15 devices on theirs. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 15 devices. And like uh, yeah. they're at the edge of the forest. Right. They're at the edge of the forest, and uh, they're not having any problems, any issues. And they live in an area where they can't. Their cell signal doesn't work. Exactly. And you got to be close to the main highway. Go down the road to the main highway to get internet. Yeah. And we've had to do that how many times? Oh, many a, times in the past. Show. Now, we'll do our live from here again Friday, and uh, it'll be great. Yeah. We might sometimes have a little buffing or something or little glitches, but it's nothing like we were having problems before. Oh, gosh, no. Y'all seen some of our older videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our lives. We always Ooh. say, we we prepare you to say we, we're having technical difficulties here. So give us some about five minutes to get up and running if it'll hold. A lot of times it quit on us. Right. And a lot of times we drive into town. That's when we do those lives when we have to go to town because mm -hmm. right outside of town, you don't get no service. Right. In some places you can't. You can't always camp by the interstate or right where they're shooting across well, to another road. Do you really want to camp by the interstate? No. <laughs> But some people prefer that, and they'll say, they'll say, hey, I got great service with, uh, uh, what's some of those services? Verizon, or Nomad, eight, Nomad. Oh, Nomad, uh, Inter Nomad, Nomad Internet? I don't Nomad. know what it's called. There's several yeah. different ones, but uh, we, we've had people that belong to those services now, they got Starlink, and they're loving it. So we just can't say enough good things about it. So that's our choice, and we're sticking with it. That's it. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you soon.